Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Don't Believe the Bullshit. My name is Musa Ganayam, and you know what we're doing. Today, I would like to discuss Israel's attack on Iran, Iran's response, and Israel's follow-up to that. As you may be aware, earlier this month, Israel attacked an embassy in Damascus, the embassy of Iran, a sovereign nation. Iran argued that they attacked their soil because every embassy is the soil of the country for which it belongs. These are universally accepted agreements and laws, and consequently, Iran said, we are going to strike back. Now, keep in mind, there's never been a direct strike from Iran to Israel, never been done before where missiles are fired from Iranian airspace towards Israel, no matter what the media will have you believe. It just hasn't happened that way. Typically, the responses are Israel will assassinate a member and then Iran will round up some people they think are Mossad agents. And that's how it's gone in the past. But what Iran did is a little different. They didn't respond right away after the attack. They wrote a letter to the UN citing Article 51 saying this was an attack, we're going to respond in kind. Then they informed the United States of the attack. They did it through the Swiss embassy in Tehran and following that they made sure that everyone was aware of the response. The goal of the response was intended to be symbolic. It basically was telegraphed that way and told, you know, this is a symbolic return. After all of that was said and done, the United States told Israel, that's it, you're done. We've had enough of this back and forth. We don't need this to escalate right now. Just get back to murdering Palestinian kids. Because keep in mind, since Iran attacked, now nobody gives a shit about the Palestinian kids anymore. All right, so now we're caught up to where we are today, where the U.S. said, Listen, clearly this was a symbolic attack. They just had to show their people that they're not pussies and that they're going to fight back. At this point, we want it to be over, kind of asking Israel to be like the bigger person. And that's something that they've never done before in their life. They've never understood the idea of being magnanimous or the bigger person ever. So now Israel, which provoked a return fire from Iran that took two weeks to respond to the attack on the embassy in Damascus, which, by the way, is a separate and distinct area that hadn't fired on Israel and is a part of another sovereign country. So two sovereign countries, their airspace and their soil, Syria and Iran, were struck. And let's just get to the point of how shitty do you have to be to make countries like Iran and Syria sympathetic and look like the good guy? So now it appears that the Israeli military and government is indeed going to strike Iran, which they said they're going to do it their own way and how they do it. So... If you've been following, you've seen a consistent escalation by Israel by attacking Lebanon, Syria, Iran, Jordan, Yemen, and Egypt. Many of these countries have no Hamas there. Many of them have not fired on Israel, nor do they bear any sort of threat on Israel's security. 
meanwhile acting as the provocateur, they're getting what they want, which is a larger regional conflict which could hopefully draw the United States in. Once that happens, it's game on.